sound pauses. The game doesn't pause, but the sound pauses when I deselect the window, and I don't know why. But hello, friends! We're gonna play Pokemon Emerald. Um. Oh. Herb. Burb butt. Probably burp, but um, this is going to be an interesting playthrough. I've uh, I've done some things, um, so we'll see. I may not play this game. I may not do an entire playthrough, but we'll give it a try. Slapping Miller butt. Oh no, sir, that is for scritching. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. He loves a good butt pat, oh that's good. And sometimes we band together to battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon's mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are... I am a girl. I like May. Alright, what's your name? As is tradition. Nope. It's not the right letter. So, it's SJ? Yes. Ah, okay. You're SJ, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. Hey, Dobby. Good evening. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Yeah, it's gonna be chaos. It's gonna be interesting. Also, it's been a really long time since I played Emerald. Emerald is the one that I had, so... Um, for whatever reason, for Gen 3... I never ended up getting Ruby or Sapphire. I just kind of, I think because I didn't have a Game Boy Advance. And by the time I finally got a Game Boy Advance, Emerald was already out, so I just skipped straight to Emerald. So Emerald is the one that I've played, but it's been a long time. Do I have my cartridge? I might have my cartridge around somewhere. I'll have to see if I can find it for nostalgia. SJ, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? What DB did I craft for? Uh, I want to say nine. 
I'm on the wiki. Uh, not under Patchwitch. Uh, I donated it, or I submitted it under, I want to say Lovely Patches, which was my original sort of sewing name. But I, yeah, I want to say it was Desert Bus 9. And you get your own room, SJ. Let's go inside. I definitely do have pictures, though. I want to say it was 24. Fourteen. CSJ, isn't it nice in here too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. SJ, your room is upstairs. So go check it out, dear. 2014 would be eight. Let me see what the dates on my pictures are. Dad brought you a new cl clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Okay, sound's gonna cut out again, but let me check if I have the dates on those photos. Um, I keep everything. Okay, what is the date on that? Let me see the properties, please. Lovely Patches Cloth Creations on the DB9 page? Yeah, that would be me. And you want to actually pull up their properties computer? Uh, oh, that's not actually helpful. Date modified is September 14, 2015, but, oh yeah, no, that would be right. 2015 would be DB9, I think. So yeah, but yeah, if you found me on the wiki, that's, that would be it. Okay, will it actually let us set the clock? Uh, what time is it even? 6.08. There we go. SJ, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. I should actually also speed up my text speed. Yes, please. Uh, which frame do I like? I think this is the one I usually use. It is Emerald Merlin. It's a very, um, it's a very interesting variation on Emerald. We'll see. Oops for Merlin. Oh no. Oh, SJ, SJ, quick, come quickly. Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe dad will be on. Maybe he's the gym leader. We brought you this report from in front of Petalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Okay, but why would you have a report about the Petalburg Gym and not have the Petalburg Gym leader? Really? Oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Burge is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Thanks, Mom. A boop war? Oh no. That sounds very dangerous. Oh wow, I can actually come in without being run over by my rival? Oh hello, and you are? Oh, you're SJ, our new next door neighbor. Hi! We have a son about the same age as you. Our son was excited about making a new friend. Our son is upstairs, I think. I'm not just get stopped by a mother this time? Yeah, it's true, but I don't get run over by anyone. Hey, you... Who are you? Oh, you're SJ, aren't you? Moved in next door, right? I didn't know that you're a girl. Dad, Professor Birch, said that our new next door neighbor is a gym leader's kid, so I assumed you'd be a guy. My name's Brendan. So hi, neighbor. 
Huh? Hey, SJ, don't you have a Pokemon? Do you want me to go catch you one? Oh, darn, I forgot. I'm supposed to go help my dad catch some wild Pokemon. Some other time, okay? Can I take... It's Brendan's Pokeball. Better leave it right where it is. Boo. I ran someone else over. I mean, possibly. Pokemon fully restored. Items all packed. And, and he's mumbling to himself. That's okay. Okay. Can I have the running shoes yet? Probably not. Give running shoes. Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? No. Give running shoes. I always used to imagine that we like kicked the door down. Cause like you face the door and then you take a step and it makes like that clunk sound as you walk in. Just like, bam, here I am. Um, hi. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Kid, I don't have a Pokemon either. But alright. <laughs> help me. Oh dear. Poor Professor Birch. Hello, you over there. Please, help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Alright. Uh, let's save the game. Just for the sake of it. Okay. So which starter are we gonna go with? It is the three it is the three Hoenn starters. I have not changed to random starters. I'm kind of inclined to take Torchic. Torchic was always my favorite. But honestly, I like all three of the Hoenn starters. I... Hmm. I don't know that I've ever actually done a playthrough with Trico, though. I've definitely done... Oh my god, I could call it Thread Chicken. I don't know that I've ever... It Honestly, it's not going to matter. You'll see why here in a minute. Yeah, let's go with Thread Chicken. Wild Zigzagoon appeared. Alright. Mudkip's so good. I've definitely done a playthrough with Mudkip before, and I've done playthroughs with Torchic before. Alright, so here we go. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get through a whole playthrough of this, but it'll be fun for a while. All right, I use sand attack. It gets mega punch. Annoying, okay. Okay, spikes is not helpful. Luster purge? I don't even know what that does. I think that might be one of the legendary moves, although it only did two damage. Yeah, welcome to metronome only mode. Teleport! I think this Torchic is defective. Okay, String Shot is fine. Numon's what dis? This is metronome only mode. So this is... Yeah, an incredible balance of chaos and just complete frustration. We'll see how far I get in this. No, it outsped me. Okay, Cotton Spore is fine. Missing is even better. Egg Bomb. Okay. Still Nuzlocke? No, I'm just going to catch whatever I want to catch. Just because I feel like stats are going to be far more important with the fact that it's metronoming. Um, 
Phew. I was in the tall grass study in wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're SJ. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? So, SJ. I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. The way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with aplomb. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. I received the Torchic. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Torchic? Yes. Will Thread Chicken Fit? Yes. Barely. Thread Chicken. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid, Brendan, is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. SJ, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see Brendan? Yeah, sure. Great! Brendan should be happy too. Get Brendan to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Sure. Do I get Pokeballs yet? Professor Birch is studying the habitats and distribution of Pokemon. The professor enjoys Brendan's help too. There's a lot of love there. Yeah, I'm going to want a full team of six as soon as I can, I think. Just because of the inherently, incredibly unstable nature of Metronome and the fact that at any given moment I could use Explode on myself. How are you doing, SJ? You look a little tired. I think you should rest a bit. Oh, do I not even get running shoes? I don't remember when those became a thing. Yeah, uh, explode and like explosion and self destruct and such are absolutely in the pool of moves. Okay, let's take a look at our thread chicken. Bashful nature. And he knows metronome. That's it, just metronome. All metronome. All the time. I have. Uh, I want to say I left wild Pokemon alone, but I have randomized uh, trainers, gyms, and items that we find. Alright. So when it levels, it will learn more metronome? Yeah, I believe so. It just... And luckily, thank goodness, you'll notice that they have... Uh, They've upped Metronome's power points to 40 instead of 10, which is nice. Oh, what is this? Lowered its head. Oh, Skull Bash! Interesting. Clunk. Down it goes. Okay, so far so good. Gosh, Warp Gold are so cute. Give Pokeballs. Ooh, the Super Fang is good. I'll take it. Sludge is fine. Poison, not as great, but okay. Bone meringue, alright. Alright, alright, that's fine. That'll work. Ta-da! Level 6, excellent. Yeah, uh, come on. I wish for a Pokemon Center. I probably could just run from this one, eh? Ok. 
Okay. Duds all around. There we go. Can we get to the Pokemon Center? Yes, excellent. Yay! Thank you, Game Boy Advance Nurse Joy. Do you have something to say, man? No. Okay. Hi, I work in a Pokemon Mart. Can I get you to come with me? This is a Pokemon Mart. Just look for our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Here, I'd like you to have this as a promotional item. Yay, potion. Do we not get free Pokeballs in this game? Do I have to buy them all? No, not for sale yet. Hey Raven, good evening. <gasps> oh my god, yes, Merlin. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. That's gonna be so good. I really need to work on mine, but this weekend has been eh, this weekend was kind of a write-off. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I love those nerds. Alright, hi Brendan. Okay, so it's this one and that one that live on Route 103. Ooh, inspired by Mooka? Oh, that's gonna be so cool! I can't wait to see it. He is one of my favorite artists. So I'm very excited to see it. Hey, it's SJ. Oh yeah, that gave you a Pokemon. Since we're here, how about a little battle? I'll teach you what being a trainer's about. Yeah, this will be interesting. Elite trainer Brendan would like to battle. Oh yeah, I randomized the trainer classes too. For extra flavor. Well, at least I'm faster than it. Missing is not fantastic. Oh, yawn? Really? I mean, I guess it's better than a poison move. Mist ball? Does that even... Okay, so it does deal some damage. And Odor Sleep does not. That's fine. And Yawn took effect. Okay. Magnitude? Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Ooh! 1 HP. Okay, woke up. That's good. Come on, Thread Chicken. Okay, Hypnosis. Alright. Oh, free balls and running shoes are acquired after we return to town. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Like I said, it's been so long since I've played this one. Oh, it missed! Come on, Thread Chicken! Come on, Thread Chicken! Still asleep? Okay. Ooh! I'll take it. Oh, but that damages me too. Ah! It's gonna be mutual. Yup. So will this count as a win for me or a loss? Mutual destruction. Uh, okay, I think that counted as a loss. Also, hey, Koopo. How was your nap? Do we have to go fight him again? I think... This is one where we have to fight him again until we win.
Yeah, it's still there. Restful naps are good. Can't wait to catch you. I love Zigzagoon so much. They're such good babies. Alright, let's try this again. Take two! wonder if I should keep track of the amount of times that I knock myself out. Actually, yes, that'll be really funny. One second. I have a tool for this now. It's just going to mute the sound. I do. I have a tool for this. Stand by. I'm just doing some on the fly. Uh, let's call this okay and that and then Count is one. Okay. And then OBS, move the chat window, add text. Okay. Ooh, red. I get to select the font and everything. Go with my default uh, preferred font. And then read from file, browse, and then that. Aha! Just outline that. That. There we go. And nifty thing, it should increment up as I press buttons. I did a thing. I did a counter thing. It's usually used for shiny hunting. Um, but it's just, it's a counter tool thing. And it should continue working even when the counter itself is in the background. So yeah, it's usually used for shiny hunting. I'm going to use it here for the number of times I managed to kill myself with metronome. Paralysis over poison. Yeah, I'll label it in a second. Now it gets to use Volt Tackle. That's annoying. And Paralysis. Yes, 
I should label set counter. Okay. Uh, add text. Uh, enter label. Okay. I wish I knew why the audio cut out whenever I minimize the screen. Okay. And I want it to say deaths. Uh, And I'll have to adjust the color on that properties. Um, no, it does. Well, that might be more readable. One second. Uh, oh yeah, I bet that's more readable, sort of. It's sort of more readable. Actually, no, that's not what I wanted. That properties. There we go. For whatever reason, making it smaller and then blowing it up makes it slightly more readable. I can also move it. That might be a little bit easier. Here we go. There we go. Hopefully this won't increment up too quickly, but you know, you never know. Mute on focus loss. I mean, there's so there's an option here that's pause on focus loss. Oh wait, I should look in the sound menu. No? No, I don't see an option. Huh. I'll poke through it more offline. Below my webcam? I mean, I could. I am planning to put Pokemon sprites down there. I don't want things to get too, too cluttered. We'll leave it at the top for now. Because self-inflicted. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Because it's, it's specifically for times I explode myself. Uh, properties. Self-inflicted. Did. Presuming I know how to type. There we go. Yeah, so the, the thing with the Sound Raven is that anytime I change focus to another window, for whatever reason, the emulator mutes, mutes itself. But then when I change my focus back to the emulator, the sound comes back. So I don't know. Uh, it's Visual Boy Advance is the one that I'm using. Oh, this is a wild wingle. I should have run from this. I was just poking buttons on autopilot. I mean, that works. 
I might have to level up a couple times to take out this stupid mudkip. Or just, you know, get luckier. Okay, Karate Chop is good. Not very effective, but... How is it Torchic even using Karate Chop, is what I want to know. Okay, there we go. Now let's see about getting another level or two. It's mostly luck-based chaos, but you know. Okay, seismic cost is fine. Maybe? No. Dream Eater doesn't work. Arm Thrust. Sir, you do not have arms. Zap Cannon. What is with the high-powered electric moves today? Just probably go back and heal. Wiggle the paws. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Wiggle the beans. Huh, interesting. Good to know. I just, I've, BBA is the one I've always used, and it seems to be the most stable and reliable of them. So I've just never bothered to see about getting a different GBA emulator, because this one works really well. Except for this one setting, apparently. Milk drink. Eh, rock throw is annoying. And doesn't affect dark types. Okay. Blaze kick. Sir, that's my move. And it missed. I was gonna say wraps better than nothing, but then it missed. Frenzy plant, really? At least it's not very effective. Nature power turned into stun spore, and it missed. Come on, thread chicken. You can hit it with something. And grain. I mean, I guess. Okay, now Puchiana missed. Okay, Earthquake, finally, something useful. Thank you, Thread Chicken. And another Fuchiana. Okay. Gust. Okay. That's an attack. 
We have a low bar here. Return. It's also an attack. Okay, Nightshade works. I'll take it. Uh, I think Torchic is just fire type. I don't think it's actually a dual type. And it missed, of course. minuscule amounts of damage. Just fire until it becomes firefighter. <laughs> Something along those lines. Okay, cool. Fury swipes. It hit. I'll take it. Time to go heal again. Higher flying and then drops flying for fighting. Maybe? But I think Torchic, yeah, Torchic itself is just fire. I don't remember if Combuskin is fire flying. But I want to say it's fire fighting as well. At least this game gives me plenty to talk about. Yeah, it's a chicken. It doesn't even have arms. How's it supposed to fly? I don't think it ever has wings. It just goes straight from feathers to arms. Aeroblast, okay, I'll take it. Yeah, one shot that level two Poochiana. Fire Fairy, right? Please. Yes, Rowlet goes from grass flying to grass ghost, I believe. Huh. Okay, that's a status move. Games obviously need to add tertiary typing. I mean, they kind of are. They are in Scarlet and Violet. Yay, level 8. Okay. Let's heal again and then see about taking on that Mudkip again. This is what I meant when I was saying I'm not sure that I can do an entire playthrough of this, but it's fun for a session or two. Mostly because I've I've actually played with Mudkip several times before Randus. Um also Merlin suggested that I name the Torchic Thread Chicken, and then I had to. It's my mascot. Alright, let's save. My water flying steel Pokemon is eight times weak to electric. Oh no! I mean, that sounds like a you problem. 
so just find one that doesn't have the steel tertiary typing. Okay, take three. Metronome number one. Wish? Okay, not terrible. Spit up? Okay, that's fine. Flatter? I don't even remember what that does. Stat move? Yeah. Ah, I see. It is the special attack version of Swagger. I see. Didn't even know there was a special attack version of Swagger. Rock Blast? Alright. One more. Pull that. Yay! Guys, we won! Yay! And a nice amount of XP. I get it. I think I know why my dad has his eye out for you now. Look, your Pokemon already likes you, even though you just got it. SJ, I get the feeling that you could befriend any Pokemon with ease. We should head back to the lab. And these conveniently placed ledges will help us. I'm headed back to my dad's lab now. SJ, you should hustle back too. Thank you, you told me that 10 seconds ago. More conveniently placed ledges. Oh, hi, SJ. I heard you beat Brandon on your first try. That's excellent. Brandon's been helping me with my research for a long time. Brandon has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, SJ, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Yay! The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid, Brendan, goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, Brendan looks for me while I'm out doing fieldwork and shows me. Huh. So you got a Pokedex, too. Well then, here, I'll give you these. Yay, Pokeballs! You know it's more fun to have a whole bunch of Pokemon. I'm going to explore all over the place to find different Pokemon. If I find any cool Pokemon, you bet I'll try to get them with Pokeballs. Yay! Let's go catch five Zigzagoon. Oh, there's Mom. Wait, SJ! SJ, SJ, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon! You got it from Professor Birch? How nice! You're your father's child, alright. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. Yay! SJ, these shoes came with instructions. Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race in the great outdoors. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on. Go get them, honey. Aw. Thanks, Mom. Yay, running shoes. All right. Oops. 44 minutes in. Let's catch a Zigzagoon. And possibly miscellaneous wormholes. Or more realistically, we'll throw balls at anything we manage to not knock out.
Like that. Stun support is good. Huh, I don't know what that one does. Kachana is paralyzed, good. Another karate chop. Interesting. Level 9. What a good baby. So many Puchanas. I would like a Zigzagoon, please. More Thunder Wave. Game really likes the paralysis tonight. And the Karate Chop. I think these dice are loaded. Just throw a Pokeball at it. Fingers crossed. Nope. Oh no. Tickling my, my poor, poor chick. Okay, let's throw another Pokeball at it. we go. I know what I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it Burp. Clearly, this is Burp. Six again, please. Another screech. Shadow punch. With those tiny little nubs. Quick attack is good. I'll take it. There you go. I guess I should put... Getting used to the Game Boy Advance buttons after playing the NDS buttons so long is annoying. Put Burb in the front. She needs XP. <gasps> there he is. No, stay in the ball. back sprite is so cute. I love it. Rest? Okay. Okay, sure. Let's 
guaranteed sleep for two turns, I think. That's fine. Meteor Mash. Okay, not terrible. Come on, Burb, wake up! Burb woke up! Yay! That is a one-hit KO move that missed. Of course. Last ball. Stay. Nope. Well, fine. Oops. Wrong button. Doom desire? Oh no. Wormpole didn't want to hit it. And I'm pretty sure that anything Thread Chicken hits it with is going to knock it out. Was the problem. Like that. Yeah, because redeemed a stretch. Ooh. That was my shoulder cracking. <gasps> Everybody else also do a stretch. Thank you, stretch. Thank you, yolk. Yeah, no shrimpin'. No shrimpin' for anybody. Especially not you, yolk. Okay. Heal burb. Shrimping has been called. Shrimping resolves. Yalk is in a couch. Oh, I have done some shrimping on couches, Yalk. It is definitely not impossible. Okay, now I can buy Pokeballs. Five more of them. But yay, cute dress. Excellent. Well, I should add that I'm laying down. I mean, that still doesn't make shrimping impossible. It just makes it less likely. And I see we have a board game arena redemption. Which will be done in total silence. I want that one. I'm gonna pick the right window. There we go. Okay, what have we got? I went through them not too long before the start of stream, so. But wow, Kara redeeming a board game arena. Okay, I think I want to play a bird here. I think I want to play this bird here. Or hmm. what does chat say? Uh, 
want tea but don't want to get up off the couch to make it? Oh, no. I mean, you could ask Miller to. Oh, do I have enough eggs? Yes. Okay, burps. Miller always makes his tea with extra tuna juice. I mean, yeah, that's fair. That's an acquired taste. Uh, right. This Dragon Castle game. Which truly is a thing. Um. Hmm. I guess dragons. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll play that ribbon. Right there. Um, you know what? Yes, we might as well. Ah, excellent. Thank you, Merlin. Okay, next. You get a bonus bird picture there. Okay. Train? Train. I want that one. Ooh, and I can get the L2. Heck yeah. Next. I do just love the Netherlands card. It has a bicycle and cheese on it. Very apt. Okay, that was easy. Next. Cribbage. I should make more cribbage games. I'm running out. Next. Oh, which railways game? The terrible one. Uh, look, I just, I can't even with this game. I just, I... I don't even know what to do with this game. Um, I mean, I guess I'll do... There. It's fine. Oh yes, Dobby. Uh, there's a uh, we're playing a game of Boomerang Europe, which has different cards for different European nations, and the Netherlands card had, and they've got like different tokens on them that score different kinds of points, and the Netherlands card has a bicycle for mode of transportation and a cheese for like national souvenir, which amuses me. All right, so the only space I have left on this game is Yahtzee. Which probably will not happen. Uh, unless I'm very lucky. Nope. Okay. I tried. Next. Uh, blurry game. Blurry game is fine. My rando game of wizard. Uh... Let's do that. Next. I could have played the wizard there, but oh, this is easy at least. I only have one space to play here. 
stick that on next. Well, I could have also played that piece of hay, which would have been funny. Oh, bit a number of tricks. Um, let's see. I think let's go with three next. Ah, hearts. And this is the purple game. All purple. All the time. Just nothing but purple. Next. This is the other railways game. These things are loading faster than they did last night. Yes, this is the other railways game. Where I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. Not exactly, but well, let me put it this way. I know what I'm doing in this game. I don't have a strategy for this game yet. I should have made more of a plan, but I did not. Yeah, I definitely did not. I am red in this game. Um, hmm. <laughs> it's a counter at. Oh, I don't even get to play this round anyway. Derp. Next. I always do that. I always forget to scroll up to the top and then I do scroll and I'm like, oh, it's not even an actual actions round. Uh, yay. Let's take my pawn back out of jail. Next. And this should be the blurry game. Yes. Okay. Short interlude, but there it was. I want that, and I want that. There we go. And the music's back. All right, six of two. cycle has failed. And your defense is fine. Fire blast! That's cheating! Jesus! You are a level 2 zigzagoon! Now can I catch you? Yay! Good grief, fire blast! Against my poor little wormhole! Alright, you get the traditional Zigzagoon name. I have always named my Zigzagoon's Bandit ever since the very first time I played through Emerald way back when. All right. Nope. Hitting the wrong button. Do a save. Okay, and now we should be able to exit out this way. All right. Oh, there be trainers out here. It has a concern.
Wimple versus Wimple combat. Stop spitting seeds. Ice ball? Alright. Alright, fine. I guess seeds against snowballs. Harden? That's fine. More? Worm on worm! Prison? Okay. Huh, interesting. I had not ever seen that attack before. But that ice ball was definitely getting larger each time. That was kind of cool. Burb has achieved level 3. I should check and make sure Bandit has pickup. Please have pickup. Yay, pickup! Excellent. Perfect. The best. Baby. So much screeching tonight. Everybody's screeching. Oh. Let's see if my incrementation can works. Yay, it does. I mean it knocked out the Puchiana, but now nobody gets XP. Yeah, exactly, Yowk. Scree! Cubby boom. Yeah, exactly. There it goes. Psycho boost? Is that a stat move? No, that's an attack. Interesting. Never seen that one before either. hit a point like I feel like the beginning of this is grindy but then if we keep going we'll hit a point where we're like one-shotting everything potentially I feel like this would be very interesting for a full playthrough let's see how far we get okay spit up is fine gimmick move. Bubble! Guys, my caterpillar's blowing bubbles. What do I do? Psycho boost is one of the weird physical psychic damage attacks? Huh. Come on, Burb. I mean, I guess that works. Healing is good. Come on, Burb. Oh, sure, okay. 
I guess that makes up for the fire blast the other round. Actually poking my phone. Merlin. I really like that. Very cute. That looks like the exact kind of thing I would wear to work. Oh, it's the psychic equivalent of close combat? Interesting. I have never heard of it before. Mm, gotta love those not very effective attacks. Seismic toss, and that is super effective. Thanks. I mean, that should have been super effective. Oh no, Seismic Toss is one of those ones that it does your level damage, I think. Air Cutter's good. That's super effective. Barrage Mist. Come on, Bandit. Fight! Yay! Fight that worm. Poison gas? Okay, sure. That's fine. Stun spore. Again, I'll take it over poisoning. Like that. Oh, it's the signature move of the Oxus. That explains why we haven't seen it before. Interesting. And also that, that makes sense. Interesting. I do love that all of the like legendary signature moves are in the pool for Metronome as well. Recover at full health and paralyzed. And Twister. It's fine. And Smokescreen. I mean, not the worst. Come on, babies. Knock off. It's annoying, but fine. Ooh, Dragon Claw. Nifty. We will switch to Burb. That's a one hit KO move that misses. Good. No kick. That's fine. Not very effective. And Swagger. Again, not terrible. Confusion is good. Mist Ball. It's another one we've been seeing a lot tonight that I don't think I had ever seen beforehand. Pound. I mean, basic but good. Psychic, less good. Odor Sleuth. Just bad. 
Oh, I outsped it this time. Teeter dance. Oh no, I'm imagining a little caterpillar staggering around, turning in circles. Triple kick. That's annoying. Miss Ball's the signature move of Latias. Okay. I heard a crash downstairs, but there's no screaming, so presumably everything's fine. sport sure it's fine it was probably just Kara doing the dishes or something yay level up excellent is that what that boom was? Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, probably. Yeah. It was probably either something in the sink shifting as she was trying to pull dishes out, um, or one of the, like, our pots and pans cabinet is precariously stacked at the best of times. So trying to, like, pull half the stack out to slot one of the other pans into it occasionally causes avalanches. I'm not sure we're quite ready to take on a trainer yet. Let's see if we can get one more level each on Burb and Bandit. Ooh, a low tad. Stealing is nice. I'll take that. Oh, but of course it's not very effective. Oh! Nifty! I mean, it took me out at the same time, which is annoying, but... Nice to see the enemy getting screwed over by that, too. sad. Just so many explosions tonight. Alright, here we go again. Recycle that failed. Payday. Alright. The worst is when you get desperate enough to use like explosion and they survive. Yeah. Poison tail, but it didn't leave poison. Rapid spin, that's low damage. Dust is good. Bubble beam. Come on, bandit. Seismic toss, which will do three damage. Ooh, outrage. I 
I mean, now at least it'll be confused. Okay, that works. Another low tad. Does this one also know explosion? Waterfall. Okay. Oof. Ouch. Stab bonus. And it only hit two times. Cannon again and paralysis. Spite that failed, that's good. No, I have a couple, um, and most of them are like nostalgic ones where it's like the the very first of this Pokemon that I had when I was a kid was named X so they will always be named X um chiefly it is uh Totodile particularly male Totodile will always be Chomper um except in my last playthrough because we had the theme naming Hyperbeam that's cheating this Lotad is cheating Oh, Frenzy Plant. I'll take that. Um, yay, there we go. Burp through to level four. Yeah, so Totodiles are Chomper. Um, Zigzagoon and Linoon are Bandit. Uh, the, Clefab the Clefairy line, so Clefa, Clefairy, Clefable, are usually Sugar. I think that's all the like specific names that I always use. Oh, and Blossom uh, that are named Belle are somewhat traditional for me as well. And Jigglypuff is now always Kara? Yeah, pretty much. You are not wrong about that. Okay, worm on worm violence again. Trent. Oh wow. Amazing. Amazing. And it only gives me 5 PP. Wow. Wow, Burb, wow. Oh, rollout is fine. I'll take that. Just, oh my god. Good to know that Transform is in the pool of moves, too. Burb's attack miss? Come on! Oh god, this Wormhole's getting buff. Your first Larvitar was Super Stone, and then everyone after has been named Junior, because your Generation 2 Tyranitar was obscene. Yeah, it sounds right. There we go. Good job, Burb. Can't believe it used Transform.
more screeching. Scree! Ooh, what's this? Bandit is glowing. Is that sky attack? I think that's sky attack. Yep, there we go. Bandit use sky attack. Excellent. You get that wormhole. Yay! Level four. Excellent. Okay. Let's heal again and then see if we can actually take on that trainer. At the very least with Torchic at level 9, he should be able to carry us. How Doom is Road Dog and the Zubat line will always be some variation on Nightwing. Oh, I like that. If you have Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. No, that's true, I cannot. Chef Calvin would like to battle. He's very good in the kitchen, this chef. Ooh, Thunderbolt is nice. I'll take that. And paralysis on top of it. Excellent. And Thunder Shock right after. Okay, then. It's all that static. Bandit's just taking the opportunity to get rid of it all. Huh. Of course it uses Refresh. This is not a healing move, too. Bad that I now want a way to say no to random trainers. That would be funny, but kind of defeats the purpose. Sir, that is an HM move. How did you get a hold of that? Hey, there's the fire blast. At least it's on my side this time. Oh, and it didn't even knock it out. Rude. Alright, come on, bandit. We can do it. Water spout? That's not a... Oh, it is a damaging move. It's water sport that's not. Excellent. Good job, bandit. How do HMs work in this? I don't know. I really don't. We will find out. Oh, he only had the one. Okay then. Yay. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. I don't know how HMs work. I guess we'll find out. I still can't get over a wormhole transforming into a wormhole. Okay, battle number two. Haha, -ha, our eyes met. I'll take you with I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. Man. Behold a man. Spike Cannon. Three. Four. Five! Nicely done, Bandit! Good job. Azuril. Now we'll stay with Bandit. Aww. A baby. 
a literal baby. Here we attack one, two, three, only three. Okay. You did real good last time, Bad Bit. I'll give you that one. Ooh, Aurora Beam. Rock Smash. And the defense drop. Good. Zero used fire punch. With it with butt? It does not have arms. What? Flail? I mean yes, it's Booner good at that. Oh, so close to a level up. Yes, you are the biggest manly man that ever manned. Now here's an ice cream sandwich, so can you sit right over there for a few minutes? Thanks. Okay. Oh, you're not a trainer. I'm not very tall, so I sink right into tall grass. Grass goes up to my nose and f f f f Aww. Oh, there we go. There's the trainer. Did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. Oh, we've got another chef on our hands, guys. Maybe they're calling themselves chefs because that's what they want to be when they grow up. That would be cute, and we're just humoring them. Ooh. Razor wind? Hmm. I love Akazuka. It's such a funny move. Yeah, razor wind. Oh, and it missed. Hyper beam again? Good gravy. Blaze kick, and it missed. God, the Spiro in this generation looks so angry. It's so angry. Razor Wind again! Oh, right. Isn't Emerald's RNG busted? Jesus. I'm pretty sure Emerald's RNG is busted. I wonder if that's affecting this. Nope. Ground does not affect flying. Stun Spore's annoying. Come on, Thread Chicken. Grudge. Still don't know what that one does. Astonish doesn't affect Spiro because it's also normal type. Mega Punch. Okay. And Paralyzed, of course. Cupcakes have entered the oven. Ooh. Magnitude. Yee. Gonna wipe to a Spiro, guys. Are you, uh, are you gonna put icing on him, Yalk? What kind of icing? I always like, like, a good vanilla buttercream on yellow cake. But that could just be me. Come on, Thread Chicken. Poison Sting. And down we go. That was not a self-death, though. That was just bad luck. 
Okay. What are you guys doing? Alright, let's try again. See if we can get slightly better luck this time. Mm, Thundershock from the Spiro. We did lose again. The Spiro wiped us. Ooh, eruption! There we go. The spear is kind of OP though. It kept getting flying type moves. Like that! Poor Burb. Alright, Bandit, come on. Okay, Barrage is fine. Two. Three. Do one more. Good job, Bandit. Thank you. Yay, level six. Chef Allen is about to use Pidgey. Oh, it's been so long since I've seen the Emerald Sprites. I like that one. Like, it, it's kind of chunky, but, like, it, look how dynamic that is. Confusion, that's fine. Iron Tail, that's nice. Blast Burn? Good grief. Uh, okay, Leech Seed is fine. Yeah, like, that's such a cool sprite compared to, like, all the boring here's another sprite of Pidgey sitting on the ground. Ooh, Poison Powder's nice. Thank you, Bandit. Mach Punch. Three damage, that's fine. So Leech Seed. And Poison Powder. Bandit unknowingly channeling La Habrea from the last playthrough. Bubble! And hurt by poison. There we go. There we go. Alright. Berries. Ah, right. That's where that ledge leads. Now for her. I'm going to keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. Oh, we probably will. 
artisan Tiana. Ooh, back to the Spiros. And it's turn to use Eruption. Ooh, White Mimosity. Excellent. Orangey. Poor Burb. I think we're going to have to train Burb up another couple levels. Six damage. Conversion two. Transformed into the poison type. Mock punch. It's fine. Egg bomb. punch. Okay, that's good. I kind of love this, because there's no strategy involved. It's just clicking the button again and again and praying the RNG takes pity on you. Snubble, huh? I always kind of like Snubble. Grip. Okay, I like it better when the enemies use status moves than when I do. Oh, oh, we have our second transform of the night. This time Snubble has transformed into me. Which means they only have five PP of um, metronome left. But that was a skull bash. Maybe it'll get fully paralyzed? Fingers crossed? Or I'll knock it out beforehand? Oh, thunder's nice. And it hit, which is even nicer. Nope, no such luck. Ah, oh, but we survived the Skull Bash. Nice. Iron Defense. I'll, yeah, sure, I'll take it. Come on, Bandit. You've got this. Sand Tomb. Nope, missed. And Snubble's paralyzed. Okay, good. Another chance. Round two. Round whatever. And another thunder! This has got to be the busted RNG. And we win! I think that might be it before the next... I think that's it. Okay. But let's grab this item ball. A berry! That's it. Okay. Hey, Pokemon Center. We have achieved Petalberg. I'll get all the tail wags later. Probably. Just watch, we're getting so many like legendary moves now. We'll play all the way through and hit the Elite Four, nothing but tail whips. Hey, you guys wanna go meet my dad? Let's go meet my dad. Hmm? Well, if it is an SJ, so you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. 
Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, SJ. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, Wally. Um, I... I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm? You're... Uh... Oh, right. You're Wally, right? I'm gonna go stay with my relatives in Ven... Ver Turf Town. I was today years old when I finally processed that that's verdant, like green, and turf, like astroturf. Amazing. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. SJ, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Wally received a Zigzagoon. Oh wow, a Pokemon! Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball too. Go for it. Wally received a Pokeball! Yeah, get ready for a Pokemon that only knows Metronome, Wally. SJ, would you really come with me? Oh, I like this music. It's cute. It's jaunty. SJ, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this? Don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Now, this should be randomized. Because I'm pretty sure I randomized the rival's team. But we'll see. Or maybe he'll catch a Ralts and then it'll be randomized later. I wonder what happens. I like that the Zigzagoon is still using Tackle and the Ralts is using Metronome. I wonder what happens if the Ralts manages to knock it out. I will say, I did like this like variation on the catching tutorial. I thought it was cute. And it seemed a lot less shoehorned in than some of the other catching tutorials. Hey, you got it. Good job, Wally. I did it. It's my... my Pokemon! SJ, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. SJ, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, SJ. Now, SJ, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, SJ. But that's only after you become stronger. Hmm, aren't you going to the Pokemon gym in Rustboro City? There's no challenge for me to battle a Greenhorn trainer. SJ, I want you to challenge me when you become a lot stronger. I'll battle you, SJ, when you can show me four gym badges, okay? Great. Thanks, Dad. remember if there's anything else. My advice, only ever use the move metronome. Seems like a sound strategy. Norman became our town's new gym leader. I think he called his family over from somewhere far away. Don't even get to know where I'm from. I battled Norman once, but phew, he was way too strong. How would I put it? I just got the feeling that he lives for Pokemon. I mean, my mom doesn't even get a name, so... My face is reflected in the water. It's shining. It's a shining grin full of hope. Or it could look. A, it could be a look of somber silence, struggling with fear. What do you see reflected in your face? Mostly pixels. 
Okay, have a good night, Merlin. Have a safe trip home. Traveling is wonderful. When I was young, I roamed the seas and the mountains. Ah, <sighs> I wish I could go on an adventure with some Pokemon. Crawl through some damp grass, climb rocky, rugged mountains, cross the raging seas, wander about in dark caves, and sometimes even get a little homesick. It must be fabulous to travel. I mean, go for it, man. You do you. Don't let that old man tie you down. I don't think there's anything else of interest in this town. Holly's house. You're... Oh, you must be SJ, right? Thank you for playing with Wally a little while ago. He's been frail and sickly ever since he was a baby. We've sent him to stay with my relatives in Verdon Turf Town for a while. The air is a lot cleaner there than it is here. What's that? Where's Wally? He's already left our Wally. I wonder where he could have gotten by now. Wally was really happy when he told us that he caught a Pokemon. It's been ages since I've seen him smile like that. Okay. Oh, right. Excuse me. Let me guess. From the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. Hey! You're either a rookie trainer, or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. Hey! The air is better in a town called Green, Ga Green Grass. I never would have guessed. I know. So strange. Oh no, I'm not a trainer. But that's right, if trainers lock eyes, it's a challenge to battle. If you don't want to battle, stay out of their sight. Oh yeah, we definitely need to get Burb a couple levels. Ooh, it's Worm v. Worm again. Round three. Milk drink when the HP is full, of course. Sacred fire. What is with all of the super high-powered fire moves tonight? Water gun. Really? That's your retaliation? Needle arm. Worm on worm worm lens. Sounds right. Oh, and now it's hailing. This worm has summoned ice from the sky. I wonder if we can get Burb up to level 7 before we end. Because I want to see what they're going to evolve into. Teleport! Rude! Just do your violence and leave? Is metronome poison sting okay that's all right super fang okay that's good it'll straight up have the hp mist ball again It 
doesn't affect Wild Poochiana. It must be a ghost type move then. Intru oh no, Psychic. It would be a Psychic type move because Latias. Pin Missile. There we go. There we go, Burb. Good job. Yay! Level 5. Excellent. I mean, it also has the stats of a wormhole. Which explains why it's having such a hard time surviving. But, you know, we do what we can. It's just a wormhole. Ooh. That is your cue. Enjoy your math rocks. Have a good night, Randus. Go, Burp, go. Ooh, secret power is good. Hydrate? I shall hydrate. Thank you, Yauk. I'm out of hydration. We'll have to rehydrate the hydration. Ooh, Skull Bash again. Come on, Burp. Okay, Frenzy Plant is good. I'm gonna have to look up how Emerald's busted RNG affects metronome, because this is definitely not random. And I wasn't even thinking about that when I chose Emerald. Ooh, perfect! Thank you, Bird. Dynamic punch with its stubby little nub. Willow Wisp? Ooh, that's a fun one. Sharpen? Okay, that's fine. That's a status move. Roar! Tiniest little wormful roar. Oh, is C dot interesting? Bird's attack missed. And wild C dot used eruption because, of course, it did. water. It's a good attack. Quick attack, but missed. Jump kick, and it hit. Oh, but it didn't quite knock it out. I'll see that use Giga Drain. Okay, didn't do a whole lot though. Come on, bandit. Karate chop. Oh, it didn't quite knock it out. Wild C dot used sword stance. Oh, 
overheat. Sure, I'll take it. More Wormfall. More Wormfall. Burp will defeat his brethren and grow strong. But maybe not with Bone Rush. Ah, two critical hits though. Wild Wormfall will use Try Attack, but seems like cheating. Go, Burb, go. Fire spin. Okay, that's a good one. Thank you, Burb. Well done. Wild Wormple used Scratch. Two damage. Go, Burb, go. Fire blast. Excellent. Go, Burb. So many fire moves tonight. Level six. Let's see if we can get them up to level seven. Oh, dinner. Cool. Cool. Oh, that looks lovely. Thank you. More worm. Consume. Defeat your brethren. Attack Rose, okay. And Howl. Oh, right, that's not a roar. That's a actual status move. Okay, we're still in this. Both Worms have elevated attack. Burb has made a substitute. Wild Worm will use Defense Curl. Psy wave from Burb. Hmm, did not do too much. Wild Rumple used Mind Reader and it failed. Probably because we're behind a substitute. Burb used Rest. I mean, sure. Recover that substitute HP. Wild Wurmple has used Flamethrower to probably break our substitute. Yep, yeah, it did. Trap. I was hoping that would last for the entire duration of rest. Egg Bomb from the Wild Wurmple. Herb is still fast asleep. Wild Wurmple happened to use Dream Eater while we were asleep from rest. That's annoying. Burb woke up. Burb used Rock Slide. Okay. And that actually knocked it out. Excellent. Good job, Burb. I kind of love these battles are taking so long just because of the unreliability of metronome. It's hilarious. It's turning level 4 worm battles into just epics. Seismic Toss, so that's 6 damage. Hmm. 
Wild Wormhole used conversion. Transformed it into the normal type. Air Cutter! Excellent, except it just changed to the normal type, so it's not super effective, but that's okay. Used soda water instead of regular water, and the cupcakes came out super light and delicate. Ooh, that sounds wonderful, Yalk. Unless that's not what you were going for, but that sounds great. Alright, Wurmple down. Go, burp, go. Tuchiana time. Fair of used scratch. And Wild Puccini used Psybeam. Something ain't right here. They crumble really easily but are delicious. Yeah, that seems like a win win. Uh oh, bide. Verb used amnesia. That's fine because it doesn't deal damage. Verb used lovely kiss, which is also fine. It also doesn't deal damage. Okay, can we knock it out while it's asleep? Thunderbolt. It's not bad. Cosmic Power, which I believe is a status move. Yep. And it woke up. Oh, but that seemed to have cancelled the bite. That's good. Wild Puchiana used Withdraw. That's fine. Earth used Double Kick. Excellent. With its tiny little nubs. Puchiana down. Critical hit. Two. Three. Another critical hit. Uh oh. Wild Low Tide used a tract. I think that calls for a switch. Supersonic, and it missed. Good. And he's toxic. All right. I'll take it. Thank you, Bandit. Well, Low Tide used Outrage. And it is now confused. Excellent. Confused and poisoned. And rocks row. Excellent. Low tad down. Probably get burp up to level seven, see what it evolves into, and then call it a night. I am hungry and the food is right there. Mm. 
Another pooch. Pichani used hidden power. And normal damage is fine. Herb used crunch. Not very effective. Although the mental image of a wormhole just. Herb used extreme speed. Excellent. The fastest bug around. Grass whistle? Is that a sleep move? Oh, of course it is. Chani is triple kick. It's okay. They're one damage each. Mumpole? Seems right. Checks out. Mega Punch is annoying. Come on, Verb, wake up! Jenny, use strength! Come on, Verb! No. Verb says no. Well, Big Jenny is meditate. That's alright. Constrict? Sure, that's fine. Jenny used Hydro Cannon. There we go. Aha! Burp grew to level 7. What? Burp is evolving! Alright, Cascoon or Silcoon? I don't even have a guess. I like them both. That is a Silcoon. We get a beautifly. Excellent. Herb. Sleepy verb. Cold nature. Metronome. All right. I know it's a touch early. I will call it there for the night. Still trying to decide if I want to do this again next week. Because, <laughs> oh man, this is a little ridiculous. Um, I'll probably, probably will do it next week. Press on, see if we can get through the first gym. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going with this for a bit until I absolutely am ready for a break. Um, but before that, I should be back Sunday with patchwork as usual. Uh, I don't know any reason why I would not. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, thank you to my followers and subscribers, as always. It's very much appreciated. I don't know if anyone's up. Let's see. Ducks are up. I will send you toward ducks. Please appreciate the ducks. Everyone have a good night. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, sleep well, uh, eat and drink if you have not, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.